So you want to get Bane Miner in Minecraft 1.18.1? Well, Bane Miner is not available for Minecraft 1.18.1, but a mod that is exactly like Vein Miner and has the exact same functionality as Vein Miner is, and that mod is Ore Excavation. So in this video, we're going to be showing you how to get Vein Miner in Minecraft 1.18.1 by using an updated and newer version of the mod called Ore Excavation. It's going to be a complete and in-depth guide, so let's go ahead and jump on into it. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. When you do, it's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting Ore Excavation slash Vein Miner in Minecraft. It's great if you're going too fast in this video or something like that. You'd prefer to go through a text format of this. This is where you can find it. But once you're here, go ahead and click on the yellow Download Ore Excavation button to be taken to the official or excavation download page on Curse Forge. Once you're here, you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you find the Minecraft 1.18 section. Then under that, you want to find or excavation and click the orange download link to the right of that. The download them again, and while it's downloading, I'm going to give you a quick message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host. And go to the first link down below the breakdown .xyc Apex to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we have our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on it. So if you want to start your own server, check out Apex, the first link down below the breakdown .xyc Apex to get a server up and running. Nevertheless, once Ore Excavation has started downloading, you'll probably need to keep or save the file in the bottom left. So just go down to the bottom left, keep it, or if you're almost at Firefox, you may have to save it in the center of your screen. And once you've done that, though, we're not quite done downloading because we need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that is required in order to run Ore Excavation. So nevertheless, you need Forge, and that's going to be the third link down below, which is going to take you to our in-depth guide on getting Forge. We're going to go through the basics in this video, but if you want something more in depth, you have any issues, that's where this text tutorial can come in. Nevertheless, let's go and click the green download Forge button to be taken to Forge's official website where we want to make sure MC 1.18.1 is selected here. And if it's not, you can select it on the left hand side by clicking 1.18 and selecting it there. Finally, come under download latest and click on the installer button. When you do that, it's going to go ahead and take us off to add focus where stop, don't click anything on this page whatsoever. Put your hands in the air, wave them like you just don't care. Don't click anything on this page whatsoever except the red skip button in the top right. The only thing that you want to click on this page is that red skip button in the top right. When you click on that in the bottom left, Forge will begin downloading and just like with or excavation, you want to make sure that you keep or save that in the bottom of Google Chrome, save it in the server screen on Mozilla Firefox. Finally, we can minimize our browser and we need to get Forge and or excavation to our desktop for ease of use. To do that, click the little notebook icon, top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen on Windows 10 or on Windows 11, center of your screen, that little Windows icon. Once you click on that, go ahead and type in downloads, click on the downloads file folder here and it will open up right like so. Then we want to take Forge and or excavation and drag and drop these to our desktop just for ease of use. With these on your desktop, it's okay if the icons don't look like mine. Literally, if they look like anything else other than mine, that's okay. We're going to show you how to fix it. But first, let's see if we can open up Forge. To do that, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then if you have Java here, awesome. And if you don't, guess what? The same issue that fixes those icons also fixes Java not being here. And last but not least, if you click on Java and click OK, if it does anything other than open up the mod system installer for Forge, you're also going to need that same fix. So if you aren't here because the icons are different, because there was no Java available in the Open With menu, or because there was, you click OK and it didn't work, the same solution is going to work for everyone. And that is Java 17. Java 17 is required, a must have for Minecraft mods in 1.18 plus. So you need to go to our website, link in the description down below, download Java 17, go through this tutorial, and then you'll be good to go. Now, for some of you, you still might have broken icons. They might not look correct. And if that's the case, you need to run the jar fix, but make sure you've downloaded and installed Java before running the jar fix. Otherwise, it won't work at all. Nevertheless, we can minimize our browser. And finally, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. It's also worth noting at this point, you wanna make sure all all Minecraft versions are closed and all of that stuff. Finally, we want to go ahead and click on Install Client and click OK, and it's going to download, install, and set up Forge for Minecraft 1.18. The only reason it wouldn't work at this point is if you've never played Minecraft 1.18 without Forge. If that's the case, go play it. Once you're on the main menu, close out of it, come back, and this will work. Nevertheless, as you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge. Awesome. Click OK, and we can delete Forge from our desktop. Now we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher, and then in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure our Forge version is selected. It's most likely going to be selected automatically for you, but if it's not, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and click on this little arrow to the left of the play button and then select the Forge profile. As you can see right there it is. Most importantly though, you want to make sure it says 1.18.1-Forge under it. It does. Go ahead and click play. Click play again and Minecraft will open. But if it doesn't or you don't have Forge in this list at all, what you want to do is come up here to installations. When you click on installations, it's going to take you here where you want to make sure mod is checked. As you can see, we deselected modded and it's gone. Forge isn't there. Click on modded and there it is. Click play. Click play again. However, if you still don't have Forge or the version of Forge is wrong, you want to click on new installation. You can name this wherever you want, but I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's got an incredible 
Minecraft Survival and Skyblock server. You should come play on it. You will absolutely love it if you love Skyblock or Survival Minecraft. Now let's go ahead and click on our version drop down box here. And then we want to select release 1.18.1 Forge. Once we've got that selected, let's go ahead and change the resolution. You don't need to do that. But I'm doing it so we can see once we get in game. The most important part is making sure it says release 1.18.1 Forge here. By the way, you may have to scroll down a ways to find yours. Mine's just at the top. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the green create button in the bottom right. And now we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Most importantly, though, with 1.18.1 Forge under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, confirm you are playing mod in Minecraft by clicking play again. And now Minecraft is going to open up with Forge installed. At this point, it's very, very simple to get ore excavation set up, but just know it's going to take a while for Minecraft to open, like a long while, probably longer than you expect, and that is completely normal. And when it does open, it might have like a weird white screen in the loading area, right? Like basically before it starts loading, it's going to be a white screen and it might look odd. And I'm trying to talk through this, there we go. So it might be this, right? And I've seen it sit at this for three, four minutes before actually moving through. But as you can see, it is going to move through and eventually show us the emoji loading screen. There we go. I'll meet you on the main menu. So here we are in Minecraft. Let's go ahead and click on mods. And then we want to click on open mods folder in the bottom left. When we do that, it's going to open up our mods folder here. And all we need to do is take ore excavation from our desktop and drag and drop it into the mods folder. And just like that, ore excavation slash vein miner is installed in Minecraft 1.18. Now we can go ahead and click done quit Minecraft because or excavation is not going to open up till we open up the Minecraft launcher again. And basically we're restarting Minecraft, just making sure we're playing with that Forge profile or the profile you created that has the Forge version on it. In our case, that's 1.18.1 Forge. Go ahead and click play there. Click play again, and now Minecraft will open up with Ore Excavation installed. It's that quick and easy. I'll meet you on the main menu, show it in the Mods tab, and then quickly show you us basically mining some veins of ores in Minecraft. So here we're on the main menu. We can click on Mods and then Ore Excavation. There we go. Now if we go into Options, and then we go into Controls, and then Keybinds, and scroll all the way back down to the bottom, we can see Excavate. And that's what we're going to be able to basically use to vein mine, right? It's going to be the Grave key by default, but you can change it to whatever you want, right? You could change it to the the T key or the Y key, for example. Nevertheless, though, let's go ahead and jump in game and mine an ore just so you can see it's working. It is a bit harder to find veins than it used to be. These aren't even that large of veins. Obviously, it would be great if we could find like a massive iron deposit or something like that. But if we just go ahead, hold down our button, there we go. Boom. Just like that, it's breaking entire veins of ores in one go. We're just holding down the grave key, which is by default, or whatever key you set it to, and mining. This one right here wasn't actually a vein. Copper is also one that uh, does work, by the way. As you can see, copper working. Awesome stuff. That is how you can install the vein miner slash or excavation mod in Minecraft 1.18. Check out this mod on your screen right now to see how to get other mods like Lucky Blocks or Biomes of Plenty. Truthfully, it's going to show you how to install all mods in 2022. Obviously, though, you still want to make sure you're getting from official links and stuff like that. And that's where like dedicated videos like this can be helpful. But nevertheless, check out those videos on your screen. My name is Nick and I'm out. Peace.